Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do a middle part in baby hairs lace wig installation. Now I do not have any details to this hair whatsoever and um, this was supposed to be a hair review for a company but they sent me uh, this wig in a plain white box with no other information attached so I'm not sure who this wig is from. So if you are a company watching this video and you know you did send me a 24 inch curly wig in a plain white box, please email me ASAP so I can update this video um, as far as the descriptions and details about this wig. But moreover guys, I will be showing you how to install this wig today and I will be using that bold hole active lace glue. So jumping straight into this video, I'm just going to apply all my layers of that glue and uh, then begin to um, lay the lace down. Now, today's video is 20 minutes long, so it is a bit lengthy, but I know you guys actually love longer videos, so you guys should enjoy this tutorial. And I will also be going a little more in depth as far as doing the baby hairs um, in this video as well, because I know a lot of you guys do struggle with doing baby hairs. So um, if you like the finishing results as, uh, you know, based upon seeing the beginning of this video, then you should definitely stay tuned for more. Now, as I mentioned in my previous uh, install video that I am doing free wigs and free installs for all of my loyal clients. Now, this is my loyal client. She is number two as far as the video and her name is Ashley. She's been rocking with me for a minute and she is one of the clients who always gets sewing. So it's always a sewing closure or frontal and she definitely does not try, um, you know, trust anybody else to do her hair. And this is actually my first lace wig application on her, so she was extremely excited. And as you can see from the beginning of this video, like this installation was very, very nice. So I am doing her this style. She chose the wig she wanted and she chose the style. So we're going to get straight into it. But now that all of that glue has been applied and has turned clear, we're going to go ahead and pull that lace down into that glue. And I'm going to have her hold each side of that wig as I blow dry it and melt that lace in. And just be sure that you are using a warm heat because that will help uh, melt that lace even better. And then uh, based on the new technique I showed you, I will be doing it in this video as well. So once I finish blow drying, um, this lace glue i will go in with that bio silk and spread across that hairline and continue to blow dry and melt that lace in and as i also mentioned before in a previous video the benefits of doing the steps like this is that when it comes time for you to uh cut off that extra lace it will not be anything really left for you to like glue and tack down like that holding spray also catches those pieces that have not been glued and it's still you know just maybe a uh, very very tiny areas that you may need to touch with the glue and since i have upgraded my technique to doing this step after um, applying the glue when it comes to my second step of melting the lace i just you know, um, incorporated a previous technique of mine and that's that Nairobi's mousse. So I will use that mousse to do my second step of the lace meltdown. Once you have blow dried all of that in, you can go ahead and begin to cut off the extra lace and you wanna cut as close to that lace as possible. But as I always mention, in some cases, depending on how your client hairline is, you may have to just leave like a tad bit of that lace to shape and mold um, the hairline to kind of match, um, you know, like using a little bit of that lace on there to match and mimic the person's hairline especially if the hairline of the wig 
does not meet the shape of their natural hairline. I hope I'm not confusing you guys by what I'm saying, but um, try to uh, bear with me on explaining that. But however, um, yeah, so I'm just going to continue to cut off the extra lace and just tack down the little piece that may still be lifting. But as you can see, we are getting very, very natural results. I did use um, level fifth, level nine. I'm sorry, guys. I did use level nine, which is like one of the lightest shades I believe they have in that Ruby Kisses foundation. And it does like match her skin perfectly. Um, so, yeah, clients with that, you know, the same skin tone as her or, you know, a little tad bit darker or lighter, that palette will work perfect. Um, for their skin. And basically what you're doing, what you did to one side, you just want to follow the same steps for the other side, cut it off that extra lace and tacking it down. And once I finish with that step, I will go in with my Nairobi's mousse, as I mentioned, and do my second step meltdown. Now, I've seen recently in my comments, someone asked um, how long after um, laying down the lace do I apply that mousse? And honestly, I don't wait any time. Like once I get it all tacked down, I just go right in um, with that mousse. But the trick with the mousse is you want to move very, very quickly. So I quickly spray that mousse on there and I just tap it all across the hairline. And it's best that you comb the hairs back at the same time. But while I'm combing those hairs back to just make it, you know, neater, I do hold the lace down as I'm combing those hairs back because it will lift or it can lift. So you just want to be very quick and very gentle. And that's why I hurry and attach that melt belt. But you do want to let that, um, that mousse dry completely um, before removing that melt belt or, you know, whatever you're using to tie down that hairline and try to wait at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you can blow dry it, let it air dry or sit them under the dryer. Um, it's really your preference. And uh, once you let that dry completely, it should be good and melted. And it should actually be a little sticky, like when you pull it off and then that'll let you know that it's dry and anything extra outside of that hairline, it does pick up. So your install does look very, very clean. Now we're about to get into uh, the baby hairs pretty, pretty shortly. And that was like something I really wanted to focus more on in this video. Now, as far as baby hair placement, you have to, uh, try to place your baby hairs kind of like where it makes sense especially if you wanted to like match every person uh, hair you are doing so um for her I decided to just do like even baby hairs on both sides um, most of the time when people do middle parts they do the baby hair swoop like across the middle and I even do it sometimes but not all the time but some people do request to have like the one swoop across the middle but because um i love how natural this install was before the baby hairs i kind of wanted to keep that natural look towards the center and not do like the exaggerated baby hair and i just wanted to do like two swoops and then the sideburns on each side so i did kind of like see where i wanted to place them and section off those little pieces of hair and um I'm going to do the same thing with the other side as well, but I'm just going to show you one side pretty much in detail and then just, you know, touch bases on the other side. But before I even get into cutting and shaping the baby hair, I'm just going to use my wax stick and hot comb the roots out, 
hot comb the front roots like just really get it all combed up and um you know neat and flat looking because i always tell you guys whether the hair is straight curly or wavy it's always best to hot comb out the roots of their hair and that will also give it a more natural and um you know like neat finishing touch and something else i did different in this video um for the curls today i did use the, uh, the nairobi's mousse to give it like its definition usually you know i'll just do like my water bottle and conditioner and stuff like that but i just actually used that nairobi's mousse to um, get the curls nice and popping so you will see me going with that mousse and uh, use that on the curls which is right now and I'm just applying the mousse at the top and just you know bringing it down rubbing my fingers through it and this will also keep the curls popping all day long too because that mousse holds that curl in there really really good and I did want to you know get that hair sleek and out the way so i can focus on these baby hairs now the key to getting the best results when it comes to baby hairs is cutting the hair down nice and short like some people leave the hair too long and that makes it harder to swoop and everything like that so as you can see i cut those hairs to about an inch and as far as doing the baby hairs today i am using that she is bomb collection all-in-one uh, hair gel and I really like to use this gel because it dries quickly um, as you are swooping and in comparison to the got to be with the got to be it's pretty much you know more wet and you really have to blow dry it dry but with this gel um, it does pretty much start to dry up on its own so that's why I like to you know use it and I also like to use the edge brush to swoop up those baby hairs and i'm still going with my blow dryer to swoop them but as you can see i zoomed in so you guys can really get a close-up and um see what i do as far as that but the key to the baby hairs is as i mentioned first you want to cut it down really short and you want to use your finger and the edge brush to really like form like small c's like you're creating c's um, of course, on this side, it will be backward C's because this is the right side of the head and, um, you know, baby hairs have to go towards the hairline. So you're just creating like backward C's here. And I just really like to take my time and just really swoop it until I feel like it's perfect and use your finger to push the hair in a direction that you want it, you know, to flow and just apply, apply just a tad bit of pressure, but don't be too, too, too rough to the point you can lift your lace. So use that gel, use your fingers, use that C-motion, swoop it. And once you get that baby hair right where you want it, just go ahead and blow dry to secure that it stays the way you want it to be. And that's just pretty much what I do. And then I'm just going to go in with that got to be spray and spray it behind the hairline and just comb and smooth that hair out. So if she want to pull it behind her ears, she can. It will be nice, flat and neat. And it also gives it that nice pushback look if she's going to wear it regular, um, like how you would see at the end of this video. So um, whether you want to do a pushback or just wear it regular, it still gives it that nice, natural pushback look. So whether i'm using the got to be or the bed head or the bio silk they all do you know i all use it for the i use it all for the same purpose because it all do the same things and i'm just going back in with that nairobi mousse and just rubbing that mousse in there to get those curls nice and popping and then i will start to work on the other side and repeat those same exact steps
Now with this side, you are still creating those seeds, but you are creating your seeds in a regular direction that seeds are supposed to flow. On the other side, of course, there will be backward seeds, but on the left side of the head, um, this, just create, you know, like your perfect C and just push and smooth everything how you want it. And as I mentioned before, when you get that baby hair right where you want it, you just go ahead and blow dry that right into place. So now that I'm done with that side and the baby hairs, I'm just going to take that mousse and rub it on those curls once again. And then we are getting closer and closer to the final step, which is concealing the part and black spring. But as you can see, like the part on this wig is already super, super clean. And this is before I even added that concealer, but I'm still going to go in with that step just to get it even more like popping, popping, popping. So I'm going to go on with that same Ruby Kisses level 9 of um, the foundation and just using an angle brush. That is the best brush to use, especially if you want your part to be nice, narrow, and clean. Do use a makeup angle brush and that will give you the best results for um, concealing the part out. And it's so crazy because someone actually thought I plucked my parts, but... I don't pluck my parts out and I highly don't recommend it because um, when you want to wear your wig again, you will basically have like that line patch permanently stuck in your wig and you can still style it another way, but it's like that part will always be there. That's why I do not pluck my parts and I highly recommend that stylists don't. So I'd rather just go in with that concealer and that black spray and give you that part, that perfect part look. But I am pretty much done with this installation. I hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial. And thank you guys for tuning in. Leave some comments and stuff down below.